Here we got a little statistic about the criminality. We've got murder, abduction, robbery and break-ins. In the year uh, 1953 we have 9802 murders. Uh, in the year 2006 we have um, 32,481 uh, murders. In the year 1953, we have um, 5,261 abductions. In the year 2006, we have 23,991. Um, in the year 1953, we have 8, uh, 84, no, 8,407 8, robberies. And in the year um, 2006, 18,456. And break-ins, we have in the year 1953, 147,379. And in the year 2006, we have 91,666. So, as you can see, um, here we got in 1953 one thousand um, forty-seven, uh, one hundred and forty-seven thousand um, break-ins, and in the year two thousand six only nine thousand, um, what, uh, ninety-one thousand six hundred and sixty-six. That's the only one who, which reduces the other ones get bigger and bigger. Here I have a little comparison for you. In the year two thousand six, in Austria, um, forty-seven murders happened. In India, 2006, it were 32,481. And I don't think that is on the only problem is that in India so many people. I think the much bigger problem is that the police system in India isn't as good as in Austria. Yeah, and now I have the five most famous uh, criminals for you. Number five is Mai Rai. Number four is Pachu. Number three is Suresh Gutam. Number two is Sushil Kumar Singh. And number one is the famous Bindit Singh. I've never heard from them and I don't think that you've heard from them. But the most people say, as the most people in the, net, in the internet say, that these five guys are the most famous. And in India, there are two pro or three problems. The one problem is the police doesn't get any criminals. They can't catch them. The other problem is that they can't catch them because they have no details. They don't know anything about the criminals. And the third problem is that the corruption in India is very very high. So it is impossible to catch a uh, um, criminal. Okay, now we come to the terrorism in India. You know, in the in whole India, there's a big terror risk. Uh, it's mainly in the big cities with a high population. We've counted now 14 terror acts since 2007. For example, on the 13th February 2010 in Pune, in a little coffee, a bomb exploded and brought many dead people. Or another example. Um, in July 2008, a bomb attack on a popular street with many people and also many tourists died. But the latest and act most actual one is, is the bomb explosion in New Delhi in front of the High Court. Um, many people get hurt or even died. Yeah. So, I come to the result that India is a pretty country. but. Um, the many religions are an activator for um, terror acts. So, before you go to India, look up for the news to get the latest information about terror acts, um, cautions and every other thing to be safe. Okay, thank you.